Hey guys, welcome to the review of the LEGO 75269 Duel Mustafar 2020 set, uh, 208 pieces. Um, this was awesome. I mean, honestly, when I first heard about the set, I was hoping for like a bigger style, maybe like $40, 50 set. I mean, fingers crossed that they make a Ultimate Series one of these down the line, which I think is too dark. They won't do that for LEGO. But I'm super happy to have gotten it. I will be unboxing it hopefully successfully on camera. Right, you know, I mean, I'm filming with an iPhone 8, so I always don't have the, uh, my stuff, anyway, I guess it's open. Um, yeah, I mean, let's see how this is. I, I mean, I've put off building a lot of my newer Legos, because I've had all the good ones. Like, I haven't even reviewed my set that I have opened. There we go. And, like, yeah, like, I've reviewed most of these. Still have that to review. I have, like, all these sets to review. And a whole tub of them in there. And, like, you can just tell, but, like, the bag of figures, the diary, the sets I put back here. Like the like, I'm not keeping this back out till I move somewhere permanent, so I just have them taped in here. And it's like they're, you know, it's on the still box, but yeah. Also, I have a surprise thing in the milk, as I'll show y'all. Y'all think it is awesome. Anyway, here's the, these are weird instructions, okay. That's interesting. All right. All right. Yeah, okay. And you yeah, is there like an app? You scan this stuff? Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. I guess it's this. Lego Life. You scan it. Okay, that's cool. Well, guys, let's go ahead and build it. You know, it's bad. And, you know, let's build this set. Alright, guys, here's the set built. So, actually, I filmed, it took two days to film this. The second day, so the air conditioning cut out on the top floor, and within minutes, my um, room got up to 95 degrees. So, I bailed and went down to the basement. So yeah, the air conditioning's fixed now. But anyway, here's the uh, extra pieces. An instruction manual. So like, I'm just gonna point this out. I started running it, like, some of the pages just fell off easily. I'm not sure that's a common, you know, problem people have with this, but I'm just, I'm just noting that. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this set. It's, I mean, if you've seen, most of you watch it, you the movie. So you know this is from. Um, they have this, like, the micro-scale thing of them, you know, running up and attacking and climbing it. Uh, I'm gonna say this one more time, I want a big scale. I mean, that would be awesome. But anyway, so we can take a look here. The size, it's... There's some play features, so like this thing, it spins around, you know, and turns. Just goes back and forth. Same thing with Anakin Skywalker. Um, this right here, actually, they close up. So, for keeping it just condensed with everything else. I'm probably gonna keep it like this. First, if I was gonna display it, I'd have it. Now, I do think it's funny how the one they have Anakin on has the higher ground. I'm, I'm just saying, but I mean, at least some stuff so you can be like, I have the high ground Anakin, yeah. And then you can have him fight on here, which isn't gonna be like as epic or as big in the movie because it's super out of scale. But yeah. Also, there's some little play features like lava flying, <laughs> like that. But overall, it's, it's 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 not a bad build. And for twenty dollars to get this, you know, it's it was good. Like I was happy to get this. Like yes, it's an accurate. By the way, they finally made one of these. The best, in my opinion, the best Star Wars lightsaber scene. Um, oh, there were some really good ones in the Clone Wars, like uh, Palpatine versus Maul, and then the Rebels with the Soaker Spider. But uh, it still doesn't beat this. Scene. This scene right here, you can watch it on a. The um, first one with all the other scenes cut out between like the other fight and Palpatine and just this, and it, it's amazing. But anyway, there's that, and we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at the figures. Here is Obi Wan Kenobi. Um, I just saved the marks and burn stuff. It's super accurate, and it's like a super good like Obi Wan they made for the set. Now, touching on it coming in the Grievous Starfighter, um, I'm gonna say what I think happened. I think, and because the same torso for Anakin is used during the uh. His Jedi Interceptor. Now, I do have a feeling that they may change it in the future to a different one, so I might hold off buying it because I already have this figure. But, I think that they may have produced too many of these torsos and stuff, which is why they're going to be reused. Because in the other stuff, they're like not accurate at all to be in there. But, I mean, for this set, this is a really, really, really good Obi Wan Kenobi. Um, the Burma is He has another face, it's the scared face. Which, he doesn't get scared, so, like, he's Obi-Wan Kenobi. I mean, he's, he's a boss. And one, here's Obi-Wan, and let's take a look at 
Anakin. So I have Anakin, on, of course, on his uh, Vader face. Because at this point, he has already transitioned to be Darth Vader. This is yellow Sith eyes. You can see the uh, burn marks on his torso. Um, they're more faded because, you know, it's, it's a black torso. And it's there on the back a little bit, and you can remove his hair. And you see it's just a normal Anakin face. Uh, more stern looking. But yeah. So, for $20, um, I'm not even said price for pieces is good. And the two figures you get are good. I remember when it was these sets that were $20. Well, not these, but you know what I'm Like those sets right here. They were $20 with the three figures. Now those are getting to the $30 price range. That is $20. I forgot. I got 50, but yeah. But like, like. So the price is, you know, happening out. Because it's $20 sets, you have three figures. Like for Star Wars, that's the thing. For the Harry Potter, it's like this 20 they're, they're perfect. But for. So, 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 um, but I mean, does it need another figure in here? Probably not. I mean, they could have done, you know, one of the droids or new gun. Like they have in the past. With like the spaceships they throw around, that doesn't matter. Um, I would have liked to see a Mustafar Academy. That would have been cool. But um, overall, this is, it was a good set for $20. It's, it's worth the value. Uh, it's probably the best selling Star Wars sets right now. Um, well, the final first battle pack's going to come on. That's probably going to be it. But um, yeah, anyway, y'all guys let me know uh, what sets you want to see me review in the future. Um, and yeah, I hope everyone has a great day. Please like and subscribe to this video. Um, and please, you know, share this channel so we can get the most people subscribed to as possible. Uh, thank you for your time. Hope you all have a good day. And bye-bye.